Hi, Geminis. This is your February love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so let's jump into your reading, Geminis, and let's see what the universe has to say for you for the month of February. Um, the first card you guys have is triggered, okay? So I feel like there's something about your relationship or the connection that you in that you're in that still triggers you about a person about your partner you may think about something that this person said or done to you and it may uh, trigger you to get mad all over again okay with them so i feel like um you may be thinking like when this happens you may be thinking like should i give this person a second chance you know if i do will they do the same thing to me that they did last time or will they treat me better have they really changed and then you think about something this person said or did and it triggers you to sort of just be in a bad mood or um, just think like bad about them all right so let's see so we have runner we have nostalgia so runner i'm not ready to accept what you have to offer we have nostalgia it's been hard not to think of what used to be and we also have gossip I've been talking about you to my friends. Okay, so I feel like you're dealing with someone who may bring you up to their friends all the time. Their friend, they could be getting advice or their friends could be telling them maybe to um, give the connection another chance or to reach out to you and try to make something work. But I feel like the reason why it's going to be hard for this person is because they they don't stay put. So you really don't know what their intentions are with you. And I feel like both of you guys have feelings of nostalgia about each other from time to time, but you just don't know if you can um, invest like you did the last time. Okay, you, you may feel like, um, you know, this person, you know, they hurt you or they kept running away from you or they had you in a third party situation. So it's like, I just feel like you're reluctant to give this person your energy again, even though they want it. I feel like they could be talking to friends or family members, um, someone that they trust or confide in, and they may be telling them to like come towards you or reach out to you or, you know, just say something, maybe text message you. I feel like this person, whoever you guys are dealing with, I feel like they're trying to get up the nerve to either talk to you or come towards you in some way. Because we have new perspective. I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's all so clear now. Yes, yeah, yeah. I feel like this person walked away from you in the past and then something didn't work out for them. And now they're thinking about walking away from you, how they didn't think this through, how they made a mistake and how they're regretting something. All right, so we also have ego. I lost myself while trying to save my ego. Yeah, this person is very prideful, very egotistical. And then we have new beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. So, yeah, new beginnings. So, I feel like for some of you, you may not want this person back. You may not. You may want to move forward and see what else is out there. Um, for some of you, I don't know. I'm picking up the energy that you could even have someone that you, um, there could be someone that you have in mind that may be trying to come towards you. And maybe you're holding this person off because you don't really know what you want yet. Um all right, so let's jump into your reading and see. Spirit, spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's for February? Ooh, okay. <laughs> yes. Gemini's you guys have the two of cups and you have the seven of swords I feel like you guys I'm laughing at this because I feel like you guys have new love you have someone that you're interested in but you're keeping it a secret from everyone okay because you're not sure whether you and this person can work I feel like you're still filling them out they may be still filling you out but you're keeping it a secret like no one knows I feel like you and this person you may keep each other a secret and that's okay you you may feel like okay I'm okay with that because I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. And they may not really know what they're going to do yet. So I feel like you two may be getting, um, you may be getting, getting to know each other is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Could be a water sign for some of you, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, we also have air here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, such as yourself. Now, I'm also picking up another storyline. Some of you, you met someone. 
And both of you guys, you see each other as soulmate energy. But this person, they have someone else in their life. And they're trying to make a decision whether they're going to walk away from that other person and come towards you or whether they're going to try and make it work again. So, yeah, some of you are dealing with someone and they have another situation and they're just not sure what they're going to do about it. All right. Before I even ask the question, the card jumped out the deck in a three of cups. Okay, like I'm saying, I was picking up two storylines. So for some of you, you're coming together with someone because the three of cups is all about a union, right? But then when it's paired with the seven of swords, it could be a third party situation where this person is like, they have someone that they're trying to, it's, this could be you as well, Gemini. So reverse and flip the roles as need be. But someone has a third party situation here. But they're still wanting to come towards you. You're still wanting to come towards them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini's? Spirit, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of February? Okay, something wanted to pop out, but it snapped back. Okay. All right, so we have the moon card, Pisces energy. We have the page of wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have the queen of cups. So like I said, some of you could be really um, emotional about this person, right? But you also could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. And you may be wondering if you want to give this person a chance. You may feel like they're a little bit immature, also, the Page of Wands is all about messages. It's also good news, okay? So even though you're being very secretive about this person that you're dealing with, Gemini, for those of you who are dealing with the new person, um, I see that things are going to go good for you and this person. I just have to say that because the Page of Wands is here and it's showing up that way. So I just have to let you guys know. I feel like everything is going to be fine with this person, even though you may be second guessing it or you may just be trying to fill this person out and just see if you could have something um, stable and long-term with them. Okay. And like I said, secrets here, um, everything is not revealed yet about what you want to do and the choice you want to make. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of February? Oh, I tried to keep that card from falling on the floor. All right, see, oh, there was another one behind it. Wow, okay. So um, all I saw was the five of pentacles. So you have the five of pentacles and you have the fool. So some of you definitely have a new beginning. And if you don't have a new beginning yet, you will. But someone feels like you're leaving them behind. Could be an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, and then we have Aries energy here as well. So someone may feel like you're off on a new beginning. You know, um, you're taking a risk, a leap of faith. You don't care about the connection anymore. I feel like someone wants to come back in and you're turning your back to it. So what messages do you have for Gemini's? Oh, what was that? that wanted to pop out. Okay, so we have the five of swords here. And we also have the four of pentacles that both want to pop out at the same time. I feel like, whoa, this energy. Okay, Gemini's. I feel like somebody's going to be trying to hang on to you with the four of pentacles. And they're going to be very manipulative in doing so. Because that's what the five of swords is all about. We have the five of swords here, four of pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or a air sign, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Regardless of the sign, Somebody is going to become very manipulative because they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. They're not ready to be done with this connection. Yeah, they're not going to want to. Um, I feel like this person is not going to want to see you with anyone else. They don't want to think about you being with anyone else or anything like that. <clears throat> I feel like that's what's bothering them. I feel like this person played a lot of games with you in the past. You know, they were in they were running in and out of your life because remember you do have the runner card here. Okay. So I feel like this person could not make up their mind. They were running in and out of your life. 
you know they were letting their ego get in the way of the situation and now this is what they want with you and it's like they can't stand to even see or think about you being with anyone else it bothers the hell out of them spirit what messages do you have for gemini's spirit what messages do you have for gemini oh yes oh my goodness <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh and you are reading Gemini like oh my goodness so the way that card just flipped out the deck like that okay let's see <laughs> oh my goodness yeah all right four of swords see someone I feel like they're trying to heal themselves right but they can't they want forward movement with you for some of you you could be dealing with a cancer okay but if not this person wants to move forward i i feel like they even thought you guys were going to move forward and then you may have checked out you may have stopped reaching out to this person or this person was being manipulative because remember we do have this card here right so somebody was sitting in their ego for so long and you were waiting for this person to come back around and they just kept leaving you out in the cold for other people. I feel like they were dealing with other people. They had other third party situations, of course, that was going on. You know, they were just going about their merry old way, thinking that you were going to wait for them. And then you decided, nah, I'm not waiting for you anymore. And it's either you decided this because you met someone new or you're just deciding to just not deal with this person anymore. But this person still wants forward movement with you with this cherry. It's like they know where they want to go now and they're sort of pissed off that you don't want to go with them or that you're not trying to like talk to them or something. Spare, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Gemini? Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini? Yep. Mm -hmm. The seven of pentacles. This person is going to be I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all like, why the hell do you keep laughing? Okay, you don't want to keep laughing just because this person is not going anywhere. I don't know what else to say. Like, seriously, if you if you walked away from this person or if you're walking away from this person, they're going to be patient as hell. They're like, mm -mm, we have history together. We done built something with that seven of pentacles. And they're looking at it. You know, they got their little rake in their hand. And they're like, listen, look how, look how good that yard look. They didn't work on this. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not laughing at you guys reading. I'm just laughing at the car illustrations because it's like the Seven of Pentacles is someone who is reevaluating the hell out of this situation. They're like, nah, mm -mm. and see, this is the thing. I feel like while this person was playing games and reevaluating and being a runner and trying to figure out, well, do I want it? No, I don't want it. I don't know if I want it. Maybe I want it. You were like, okay, I'm over here healing, getting myself together, moving forward, not thinking about you anymore. I'm not going to play your games. And now this person is like, okay, I think I want it. And then you're like, nope, I'm gone. <laughs> you're like, no, I'm, I'm gone. So it's like your back is turned to it all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it is what it is, right? If you don't want the person, you can't. I mean, like, they did take a, you know, maybe this person did take a long time coming in, Gemini. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your person feeling this way about you. So remember to flip and reverse the roles as need be. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Okay, what messages do you have for tonight? Yep, here we are. See, that new beginning came right out. This is a fresh start and a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. And somebody could be passionate as hell about you. For some of you, it's a fire sign. An Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Some of you guys met um, a fire sign. And there, it's like you want to take a new beginning with them. And they want to have a new beginning with you. Spirit, what messages? Oops. Okay, what is that? Didn't I just listen? You cannot make this shit up. <laughs> For some of you, it's a Leo. Okay? Definitely, without a doubt, it's either an Aries or a Sagittarius or a Leo for some of you. Not for all, right? But you have a new beginning with this person. And wait, okay, so this card just fell out of the deck. Yep. And somebody is in heavy regret because they feel like they let you get away. And I feel like this person did not think things through. When they walked away from you. They thought you were going to always be there for them. 
Now, this person may have walked away and already had someone else in mind. And they were like, you know what? I'm good. I'm walking away to this other person. And they're walking and walking, right? And then they get to this other person. And then it doesn't work out the way they planned. So now they're like, well, shoot. This third party situation didn't work out. Let me go back to my person. Well, their person is no longer there. Because this is now their person's energy the full card taking a leap of faith moving away from the situation no longer stagnant no longer crying depressed sad angry it's like they're like okay i'm gonna give it up to the universe i'm you know wherever i'm meant to be whoever i'm meant to be with wherever i'm meant to go that's what's going to happen and i'm not tripping about it anymore and now your person they're feeling like the five of cups. They can't get over you. They can't get over the situation. They're in heavy regret. This person may be losing sleep and all types of things. All types of things They may that may be going on with the person. And I feel like some of them may be keeping it a secret because it's like they may not be telling you. Um, all right, cards just flying out of the deck. Oh, yes. This person is so angry that they can't manifest with you no more. But you know why? Because they came, to, it's like somebody was moving too slow with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, it's definitely an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They were moving too slow. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. Okay. You could be married to this person and it's like they feel like they can't manifest with you anymore because that magician card is in the reverse, which is Gemini energy. So for some of you, you could be dealing with the Taurus because of the Hierophant being here. And then um, we have the Knight of Pentacles, but we have the magician in reverse as well, which is Gemini energy. And like this whole little situation right here is like somebody was moving too damn slow. They thought they had time. They thought they could play games. And they thought you were always going to be sitting there waiting for them. And now they're realizing that you're not. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull a couple of more. And let's see what else your person is feeling and thinking. Gemini spirit. Spirit, what is Gemini person feeling and thinking about this situation? Confused as hell. Seven of Cups, not knowing what to do. They're like, okay, so I had these options, but now they're looking at their options and they're like, all of these options ain't good options. And I feel like they don't even want the options that they have. Seven of Cups, okay? Spirit, what is Gemini's person feeling and thinking? Yep. They want a turning point here. Two major arcanas, the high priestess. They're hiding their feelings though. They're not letting you know. But with the Wheel of Fortune, they want change. They're seeking change. And they feel like it's not going to happen for them. Spirit, what is Gemini's person feeling and thinking? Oh, that was too many, wasn't it? Yeah. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They're afraid they can't have the longevity that they picture or that they want with you with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the um, Lever's card. It's like they're trying to make a decision. Well, should I walk away? Should I just move on? Or should I wait? Because the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is delayed. So they may feel like the situation is delayed. Like, you know, oh, okay. You know, let me give this person some time, some space, and then I'll come back around and we'll talk about it. But once again let's see where's that card <laughs> here it is okay once again you're in this energy they're in this energy okay so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading gemini's i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lies tarot I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522 and I will see you guys next time. Bye.